You're watching this YouTube video wrong. Today, I've got 20 things you didn't know that YouTube could do. I guarantee you're gonna learn something new in this video. Let's just dive right into it with the first one, which is fine tuning your search results. When you search for a video on YouTube, your results probably look like this and they are sorted by what YouTube thinks is most relevant to you. But if you hit the filters button, all of these options reveal themselves. You can sort by when the video was uploaded, if it's a whole channel or a video or a playlist or even a movie, duration, features like resolution and even view count. So when you search for content on YouTube, you don't have to settle for what YouTube just serves up to you here in this window. You can hit that filters button and dig a little bit deeper. All right, let's move on to the second tip on our list, which is using chapters to find exactly what you're looking for in YouTube videos. Chapters in YouTube videos allow you to skip to the part of a video that's most relevant to you. If you look closely at the bottom of this YouTube video here, you can see that the play progress bar is broken up into segments. If I hover my cursor over those segments, I get a little bit of a hint as to what that particular section in that particular video is talking about. So if there was something super specific I wanted to know about, like for instance, YouTube shorts monetization, I could just start playing the video here. It's a huge time saver. On the mobile app, the chapters can be a little bit harder to see, but they work in the same way. And then if you wanna jump from chapter to chapter, just double tap with two fingers and you will jump to the next chapter. My next tip is for when you're browsing YouTube and you spot something you really wanna check out but you don't have time or it's not a good time to watch it, you can actually save that video to watch it later. Here on the YouTube homepage, when you see that thumbnail that you're really interested in, just click the vertical ellipsis to the right of the title of that video and select save to watch later. Then head on over to your sidebar, select watch later, and that video has been added to that playlist. Here on the mobile app, it's the same thing. Just hit those three little dots and save to watch later. My next tip is all about blocking ads that you don't think are relevant to you or you're tired of seeing on the desktop version. When you see an ad on a YouTube video that you don't want to see again, just hit this little eye with a circle around it button here at the bottom left corner of the player window and you can actually block that ad so you don't see it again. Tip number five is that YouTube has free movies and TV shows that you can watch right on the YouTube platform. To find these on the mobile app, just hit the explore button on the top left, select movies and TV, and you'll see a bunch of movies that you can buy or rent and some that are free with ads. But if you just wanna see the free ones, just hit the free with ads tab at the top and here's all your free movies. To get to these free movies on the desktop version, just expand that sidebar, navigate down to movies and TV. And again, the free with ads tab is here at the top of the screen. They're not the most current movies, but hey, there are a few gems in there if you search and you're really bored. All right, let's move on to our next tip, which is how to get YouTube to stop recommending a particular video or an entire channel to you. Back here on the YouTube homepage, again, look for those three dots next to the video you are not interested in and select not interested. This will block that particular video or don't recommend this channel if you're really not interested in that content. And it works the same way on the mobile app. Now, what if you're in a situation where you're watching a video you do really like, but it doesn't look like it's the highest quality playback. What YouTube does is it assesses your internet connection. So you might be seeing things in lower resolution than the creator posted them in. If you wanna force the video to be in a higher resolution, just head on over to the gears icon in the back of the player window and under quality, select the highest resolution available. On the mobile app, just tap the video as it plays, and then that gear icon is actually now in the top right center, and you can change the quality there. Now, what if you're trying to watch content that's like educational, and it's too long, and you just wanna to listen to it in higher speed? You can change the playback speed as well. Again, on the player window on the desktop app, hit that gear, and you can change the playback speed to either slow it down or speed it up up to two times speed. On the mobile app, again, reveal that gear and you can change the playback speed in the same way. 
My next tip is all about playlists. If you're a YouTube creator, you should definitely understand the power of playlists. I've got a great video I'm gonna to link to right up here that you should check out. I'll put it down in the description box below as well. If you wanna create playlists of your own videos and grow your watch time here on YouTube, but you can also add other people's videos to your playlists as well. Let me show you. Here on the YouTube homepage, just hit that vertical ellipsis again and select save to playlist and you can add it to one of your existing playlists or a new playlist. These playlists can be public or private. It could be just for your eyes only, or you could share it on your own YouTube channel as maybe some other videos that you would recommend to your subscribers. On the mobile app, you can do the exact same thing. Now, what if you want to revisit a video that you really enjoyed? You can find all of your liked videos in one place. On the desktop in that sidebar, you can navigate right to all of your liked videos. To find these in the mobile app, just hit the library button in the bottom right of the UI and there are your liked videos. What if there's a certain section of a video that you wanna revisit again? Perhaps it's like a recipe and you wanna keep that recipe handy and easy to find later down the road every time you wanna make it, do this. Open up that video and find the exact section of that video that you're interested in. Take note of the timestamp of that video. In this case, it's 348. Leave yourself a comment under that video of a timestamp. So I'm going to put in 03 colon 48 and I'll just add the word yum to remind myself that I liked this. And now watch what happens. I'm going to refresh this page. My comment appears to me at the very top and you can see that my timestamp has now turned to a hyperlink. If I click on that, it jumps right to that time code. The next five tips I have to you only apply to the desktop version of YouTube. Let's get into it. Let's say you're planning on sitting and watching a bunch of YouTube videos. I'm going to minimize this video with the mini player. Now it's going to bring me back to my YouTube homepage and it's going to continue playing that video in the bottom right corner. If I wanna create a custom playlist that I'm just gonna sit and watch right now, just look for the vertical ellipsis next to the title of every video and select add to queue. I'm just going to add a few videos here to the queue. And now I'm going to open up that original video I was watching again by hovering my cursor over it and selecting the expand icon. And now on the top right of this new window, you can see all of the videos that I selected to play next. Once I'm done watching this original video, the next video in my queue will get served up. My next tip only on desktop is the autoplay feature. So once a video you're watching on the desktop finishes, one of three things can happen. One, if you have set up a queue like I just showed you how to do, the next video in your queue will play. Secondly, YouTube could just show you a couple thumbnails of videos that you might wanna watch after you finish that video, if you have not set up that queue, and then you have to actively click on a thumbnail somewhere on that playback page to find your next video, or you can toggle on what is called autoplay. If you hover your cursor over your playback window, you'll see this menu here at the bottom. This one here is autoplay. Right now it's off. I'm gonna click it to turn it on. And what will happen is that at the end of this video, when I'm done watching it, it'll automatically play this next video that it suggested to me. You get this little countdown here. And if I don't do anything by the time that clock runs out, that next video will continue to play. My next tip is about customizing the closed captions on your YouTube playback. You probably know that it's really easy to turn on or off closed captions on either the mobile app or the desktop version of YouTube, but here on the desktop, you can even take it a step further. So here in this playback window, I'm going to enable closed captions by hitting this button here. Let's head over to the settings option. That's that gear icon and navigate to subtitles. And then here I'm going to select this options button. I can actually change the font of my captions. I could make them cursive if I wanted to. Let's go back. I can change the font color. I can make them really big and so many other customizations you can do. Again, this is only available with the desktop version. The next tip I have for you only on desktop is what is called theater mode. You probably know that you can reduce the video playback to the bottom right corner of your UI. And you probably know that you can go full screen with your video if you wanna do that as well. 
But there's this other mode here called theater mode, which makes your video almost full screen, but you can still scroll down and see the comments and the description as well. It's kind of the happy medium between the default playback window and full screen mode. All right, before we get to my next tip, which is a really good one, if you like this video, if you feel like you're learning something, let me know, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. All right, my next tip for you also only on desktop mode is custom playback speed. I showed you how to change the playback speed down here in the settings menu at the bottom of your playback window. But if for some reason these increments were not satisfactory to you, there is a custom option here where you can use a slider to really fine tune your speed. All right, my next tip is only available on the mobile app. Here on the mobile app, if you wanted to scrub through a video you were watching, just hold your finger down and drag it to the left or right to seek through it. You don't actually have to have your finger on the progress bar. And my last three tips for things you didn't know YouTube could do, only apply if you have a YouTube Premium account. If you wanna learn more about YouTube Premium, I'll link to it down below. The first one you probably know is that it has no ads, but what's really cool is, remember how I showed you the free with ads movies and TV shows that you can access here on YouTube? If you have YouTube Premium, all of those movies and TV shows I showed you before are not just free with ads now, they're really just free with no ads. The next thing you didn't know that YouTube could do is what's called listening controls. If you're listening to a podcast on your mobile device and you have YouTube Premium, YouTube can transform into more of a podcast app. Just click the video as you're playing it, hit the settings button and select listening controls. You get this pop-up window where you can easily skip through your podcast, pause it, rewind it, and change the speed. Very similar to a dedicated podcast app. And the last thing you didn't know YouTube could do is if you have premium, you can download videos for when you don't have an internet connection and watch them later. You can do that here in the home window. If you hit that vertical ellipsis, you can select download. You can also do it in the player window. You get this download button here. And of course you can do it on the mobile app as well. The one thing to know about this feature is that you have to be downloading the content on the device you wanna watch it on later. So if you were going to be getting on an airplane and you wanted to watch a bunch of YouTube videos, you would need to download these videos on the device that you're gonna have in hand on that airplane. I have to believe you learned something new from this video. What was your favorite tip that blew your mind? Let me know down in the comments, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love and I'll see you again.